Hi there, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to set up a new list in your Aweber account. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up a list, customize your confirmation email, create a welcome message, and get a form built in on your site, turning those visitors into subscribers. Now if you're setting up your account for the first time, you'll be able to watch a short video, then start the setup process. But let's say you've already been in your account and you want to set up a new list. We'll start by clicking Manage Lists, then Create a List. Here we'll begin by entering our company's name and URL. According to the CAN Spam Act, all emails sent must include a physical address. You can use a P.O. box or your business or home address. Next, we'll name our list. Now, this is a lot like saving a file, and it's just so we can keep track of different lists. We'll also give our list a quick description. Going to the next step, we'll customize our confirmation email. This email, when using confirmed opt-in, will be sent to subscribers when they first sign up. We'll edit the subject line and body to make sure people know exactly what they need to do to confirm, and that's just click the link in the email. Once done, we'll click Approve. Now we'll create a welcome email. This will be the first message in our follow-up series, and like the name suggests, it's going to welcome new people to our list. First, we'll create a subject line, then choose a template. From there, we can add in some text to welcome subscribers. Again, this email is going to welcome people and let them know other key bits of info like how to connect with us, some basics about our business, and what they can look forward to in future emails. Once we're done with the welcome email, we'll move on to the last step, and that's creating a sign-up form. We'll start by choosing a template for our form. We can customize the form by adding more than just name and email, but we want to be careful. Too many fields can discourage people from signing up, so we'll try to keep it to a minimum. Now we'll just add a headline to our form, letting them know what this is all about. Now moving on, we'll give our form a name and choose what kind of thank you page we'd like to use. We always recommend that you use a custom thank you page. You'll need to build one of those outside of Aweber using whatever software you use to create your site. Once this is all set, we're ready to get the form onto our site. There are a variety of options to do this, but for the purposes of this demo, we're going to copy and paste the JavaScript. We'll grab that JavaScript, then go into our site's management software. In this case, we're using WordPress. We'll paste the code where we want it to appear. In this example, we're going to put it in the sidebar. If you need help doing this, just let us know and we can walk you through it. Now that the JavaScript is there, we'll save our work and head on back to the site. And that's it. Now when someone signs up to our list, the subscriber will confirm and then get our welcome email that we created. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the links after this video that go into more detail about creating emails and building your list. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.